Well, Jamie, welcome to the program. Appreciate your time. And I guess I'd like to hear your thoughts on the, well, what was a rather dramatic sounding global dairy auction result uh, on Wednesday. Yeah, look, Mark, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, probably nothing that wasn't expected. Um, you know, the, whether it's the meat sector and uh, and everything else, everyone's probably feeling the pinch of it. And, and I think dairy's no different. You know, we were down 6.2%, which... Um, which was uh, of of the whole milk price was, which was which was I guess it wasn't a shock. It possibly you know some people were saying it might have been nearer the double digits. Which um, you know let's hope that uh, this whole thing gets a bit uh, finds a bit of stability and, and hopefully opens those markets up again. But um, yeah, very much it's a, it's a concern and um, and will be pretty interesting to watch uh, going forward. That's for sure. Mm. Now I know you're also involved with, with PTG Rights and in, in the live cattle shipments to China. Uh, it's a pretty controversial little topic there, but is that trade still going with this coronavirus uh, in place? Yeah, look, there was a shipment that left um, left New Plymouth uh, last weekend. Um, I know that uh, you know very much. You know, we're, we're probably a, a little concerned about it, and um, as and everything else has had the had the brakes put on from logs to meat to to wherever you look at. You know seafood etc but at, at present yes still going there's still a lot of heifers heading into quarantine over the next uh, over the next few weeks and so you know we we fingers crossed and hoping that um everything continues there but but definitely it must uh it it must be a bit of a concern for some of those uh companies that are that are exporting and um very much you know we're involved in that just as much as anyone else that's for sure and presumably once the, the ships are at sea, then there's no question that they'll be taken in uh, when they hit China? Yes, yeah, so I would think I would think that'd be the case. Like I mean the import permits are uh, are issued prior to cattle going into quarantine. So um, that's uh, you know once once they're in there, that's a um, you'd like to think that everything would happen there. But but I'm sure the boats would be putting uh, they'll be putting things in place and taking some extra feed on board and stuff like that. So you know it's a um, it's a pretty regulated process, and um, you know they'll be very much uh, watching it and uh, you know taking as much care as they can. That's for sure. So what else is pressing at uh, PGG Rights at the moment? I suppose what Ford contracts are they all being signed up? Our teams are busy out there at the moment signing up the Ford contracts for. Um, for May and June delivery, um, with the with the herds, um, obviously Gypsy Day, you know, is the end of end of May, and um, heifers tend to happen a month earlier. So yeah, teams are very busy with that at the moment. We're uh, we're in the full swing of things with our dairy marketing campaign, and um, we're uh, going tracking along extremely well to date. Um, we were ahead of last year with current current number of contracts in place, and um, yeah, that that space is looking pretty good, I guess. We always tend to sell the better herds uh, first, so um, you know it's within reason that uh, you know we'd like we probably uh, see the price very strong at present, but as the quality you know probably drops away a little bit, then the pricing will come back. But uh, it's looking very very good at the moment, very positive, and the guys are very busy out on the ground with um, showing buyers herds and, and getting as many of those contracts in place as we can. Actually, good good point to ask that question about the quality at the moment, with the, you know drought affecting you know, parts of the country, and of course no growth at the moment. Uh, is the quality being compromised? I suppose from a feed point of view, you know we we had very good uh, we had very good springs, and uh, right up until Christmas really, or you know week pre Christmas was um was pretty good. So a lot of a lot of farmers made a lot of supplement, they had a lot of feed reserves on hand, and to date things are, you know yes they're getting very dry. But um, plenty of feed reserves on hand, and uh, to be fair, all in all, um, things are probably comfortable enough. We'd love to have, uh, love to be feeding them green grass versus uh, supplement, but because um, it comes at a, in another cost. But it is um, pretty good, really. People are coping with that okay in uh, in the main. Now, briefly, you've been uh, jet setting a bit at the, in the last few weeks. You went to Australia for the International Dairy Week. Yeah, I had uh, had four days over at the International Dairy Week over in Shepparton, um, which is and um, yeah, pretty interesting um, having a few days over there, catching up with uh, what the, what they're up to, where um, what they've got going on in their space, and I guess they're no not really different to us. You know, they're um, they've got the the mood and the perception of dairy farming is probably um, probably a bit lower than ours over there. They've got some got some challenges there. 
um, and and we talk about the dry here. Well, look, we uh, we can't um, we can't really even comprehend uh, what they're in over there. You know, still still talking to one dairy farmer there who's more from New South Wales, and he hadn't had any rain of any substance for uh, for all but two years. So just shy of two years. So it's um, you know it's 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 pretty. Uh, Pretty sombering to sort of go over there and see that and hear those stories, and then you you took you couple that with the uh, the bushfires that some of them are experiencing, and it um you know we uh, we come home and we think we're uh, we're dry, but but you know we're in, we're in not a bad space, so it's um it's it's pretty uh, great to go over and see what they're up to. Great to hear their industry problems; they're not vastly different to us, but potentially their scale is just a little bit greater. That's all. Jamie, lovely to have a chat and thanks so much for your time and uh, we'll look forward to catching up again uh, soon. That'll be great. Let's hope for a nice uh, early autumn for all our farmers out there and um, enjoy the uh, rest of the uh, summer we've got anyway. Thank you.